Do you know about the cyber vulnerabilities of your solar power system? It's a question that may not have crossed your mind, but as we venture deeper into the digital age, it's becoming increasingly critical. Solar power systems are not just about harnessing the sun's energy. They're complex, interconnected networks powered by devices such as inverters and control systems that help manage the electric power grid. But here's the catch. When these operating technology devices are hooked up to the internet, they become more vulnerable to cyber attacks. This isn't your average run-of-the-mill data breach we're talking about. Cyber attacks on electric grid devices can lead to physical impacts. Imagine a sudden loss of power or even worse, a fire. These are real-world consequences that can result from a cyber breach in our power systems. Now you might be thinking, surely these systems have some kind of protection? Well, yes, they do. But as our electric grid becomes more digitized and interconnected, the task of maintaining cybersecurity becomes a game of cat and mouse. It's a top priority for organizations like the US Department of Energy, but it's also a constant challenge. Every day there are attempts to hack into the grid. Most of these attempts fail thanks to robust security measures, but every now and then a breach occurs. Like in March of 2019, when hackers made it past a utility's web portal firewall, causing operators to lose sight of parts of the grid intermittently for 10 hours. In the world of solar energy, we're stepping into a new frontier. As we continue to innovate and adopt more advanced technology, we must also stay vigilant against the ever-present threat of cyber attacks. Cybersecurity isn't just about protecting data, it's about safeguarding our power systems and our way of life. As we journey further into this new frontier, let's ensure we're not just harnessing the power of the sun, but also the power of secure, resilient technology. What comes to mind when you hear cyber attack? Perhaps you imagine a shadowy figure hunched over a keyboard, breaking into top secret files. Or maybe you think of high profile data breaches that make the news. But in reality, cyber attacks take many forms and can happen to anyone, anywhere. Let's start by understanding the most common types of cyber attacks. Phishing scams, for instance, are deceptive emails that trick recipients into revealing sensitive information like passwords or credit card numbers. They're a form of social engineering, a tactic that manipulates people into making security mistakes or giving away information. Then there are attacks that exploit outdated software. These happen when an opportunistic hacker takes advantage of known vulnerabilities in a system's software, often using code that's readily available on the internet. And then there are zero-day attacks. These are threats so new and unexpected that security professionals haven't had time to devise defenses against them. They're called zero day because there's no warning, no time to prepare. But there's a crucial distinction to make here. A cyber attack on an enterprise IT system, like a data breach that compromises personal information, is different from a cyber attack on a cyber physical system. The latter, cyber physical systems, are engineered networks that integrate computation and physical components. They include things like solar power systems, and when they're targeted, the consequences aren't just digital, they're physical. A successful cyber attack can manipulate a solar power system's output, disrupt the power grid, and even cause physical damage like fires. And this brings us to a critical point. As our world becomes more digitized and interconnected, the risks and potential impacts of cyber attacks are evolving too. Solar energy technologies, for instance, are not just electronic devices. They're part of a vast interconnected network that powers our homes, our offices and our cities. So when we talk about cyber attacks, we're not just talking about stolen data or breached firewalls. We're talking about attacks that can have real, tangible impacts on our physical world. Remember, a cyber attack on a cyber physical system like a solar power system can have real world physical impacts. Have you ever thought of your solar inverter as a potential cyber target? In today's increasingly digital world, the expanding deployment of solar systems and the continuous advancement of inverters have amplified the cyber risk. Solar inverters are the crucial interface between solar panels and the grid. Their primary function is to convert the direct current produced by solar panels into alternating current that can be used by your home's electrical appliances or fed back into the power grid. However, their importance makes them a prime target for cyber attacks. 
If the inverter software isn't regularly updated and secured, its data could be intercepted, manipulated, or even worse, an attacker could embed malicious code in an inverter that could spread malware into the larger power system. This is a concern as it could lead to unauthorized changes in power delivery causing physical and financial damage. These unauthorized changes to inverter controls or communications are referred to as cyber physical security breaches because the result is an alteration in the voltage or the electric current that the inverter injects into homes or the grid. Now let's shift our focus to microgrids. Microgrids are local power systems that can operate independently of the larger grid in case of a power outage. By providing a reliable source of power during emergencies, they play a vital role in our energy infrastructure. However, this independence and importance also make them a potential target for cyber attacks. If a microgrid were to be compromised, it could disrupt the power supply to critical facilities such as hospitals or emergency services during an outage. Therefore, protecting microgrids from cyber attacks is an integral part of an overall resilience strategy to maintain our critical electrical infrastructure in emergencies. Our solar inverters and microgrids, like any other digital device, are susceptible to cyber threats. As we continue to embrace renewable energy technologies, we must also understand the risks and take the necessary steps to protect these critical components of our energy infrastructure. Protecting our solar inverters and microgrids from cyber attacks is a crucial part of maintaining our energy infrastructure. So, how do we protect our solar power systems from these potential attacks? Well, it starts with the basics. Regular software updates and secure communication protocols. Just like how we keep our smartphones and computers updated to prevent security breaches, we need to extend the same level of care to our solar power systems. The U.S. Department of Energy plays a crucial role in maintaining cybersecurity across our power grid. They work tirelessly day in and day out to fend off daily attack attempts, keeping our energy systems safe and secure, but they can't do it alone. Vigilance is our greatest weapon against cyber threats. It's about staying informed, being aware of the risks and taking proactive measures to safeguard our systems. It's about creating a culture of security where everyone plays their part. In the end, the security of our solar power systems lies in our hands. With proper precautions, we can ensure the sustainable and secure future of our energy systems.